So the topic that I have in mind for you, Simon, is around the future of the board. So I can see you smiling there. <laughs> so for me, you know, traditionally, I think myself and maybe many other people watching this have a perception of what the board looks like today. But what I really wanted to dive into was where you see the direction of the board or perhaps maybe how a future boardroom would look like if we were to fast forward let's say 50 years and you walked into a board meeting what kind of people what kind of roles what kind of processes do you think might be visible back um in in that time as opposed to what we see today i would like to think that 50 years from now if we still have boards <laughs> along the lines we know them today and the unitary board has been a pretty good survivor um i'm certainly not in favor of two-tier boards i think i think the the unitary board is a good thing um it is certainly without wishing to be unkind the least worst option um i would like to see a younger average age i'm worried about the rise in the average age of the boardrooms of uk plc mm -hmm. It's about 60 now, and that concerns me. I, I, um, because, you know, for a number of directors, um, you know, you get past 50, 55, and the mental arteries, there's a risk that they start to harden. Um, I would like to see more younger people. Younger people achieve an awful lot. They do an awful lot. Yes, in different ways, the way in which my generation did it, but it's a different world in which we live. I'd like to see a much more diverse boardroom. Uh, we're starting to get there with gender diversity, yep. which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned about the lack of progress with ethnic diversity. I think there is a pool of talent that is available and could contribute hugely to uh, board's consideration of culture, for example. Mm -hmm. um, social diversity. Diversity value and educational diversity. There are some people who, through no fault of their own, may have mucked up their A levels, for example. It, it could have been a marital split at home or whatever, but you know, and perhaps they only get back into education in their late 20s and, and get themselves on an open master's program and they, then, you know, move from what they might have found to be a bit of a dead end role mm. into a bigger role, you know, a complete change of direction. We need these people got these life experiences um, assisting in the direction of the oversight of the direction of businesses so yes if there's a unitary board structure still in 50 years time I'd like to see much more diversity I think we should welcome diversity mm. we should praise diversity it's a good thing um, we need, of course, to resist ageism. I, I wouldn't want to see older people who can contribute being squeezed mm. out, but we need a better blend of generations. Um, we certainly need to reduce the accountancy stranglehold. And we need to see boards focusing much more on culture. Mm. And, I, and I think in this day and age, culture is becoming increasingly important. Um, certainly if, if companies are going to be offering attractive places to work, to prospective employees, they've got to look at culture. Mm -hmm. Does that help, Winston? <laughs> no, it, it helps a lot. And actually, that was resonating with me a lot because of the kind of work that I do yeah. with organizations around inclusion and diversity. So it's obviously music to my ears to hear that you want, you want to see more younger faces on the boardroom. Um, and, and also in terms of the culture itself and how, you know, it's not just diversity in terms of composition, mm -hmm but in education and, yeah. and at the end of the day you just want to have that diversity of thought around the table because that's when you see true innovation I yeah. believe um, and I guess a bonus question which I hadn't really prepared you for but something that we talked about a little bit offline is what would be your number one skill that you would love to see or that you really appreciate seeing in either a board member or a prospective board member Oh, for me, it has to be humility. And allied to that, self-awareness mm. and courage. Directors need courage. Yeah. 
So humility, self-awareness. So you asked for one, I've given you three. But <laughs> hey, I'll, 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 I'll rank them. I'll rank them. Humility, self-awareness, courage. But they're all they're all very important. Mm. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time, Simon. And I look forward to connecting with you more and hopefully sharing some more Great. of your wisdom with my audience. Thank you so much. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Winston. <laughs> Cheers, Simon. Okay, bye.